Hey everybody, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. In this video, I want to talk about embedding values in a string, or the values of variables. So for example, I want to teach you how to put a value of a variable in a string dynamically. So let's just say, for example, we have this string. And this string says, hey, my name is, and within these, these uh, spaces, we want it to change depending upon the value we give it. Well, we can actually do this. So uh, when, when we print it like this, it just, just gives us blank lines, and we don't really want that. So what we need to do is it's kind of funky, but just try it out. Uh, what we're going to do is first we're going to put a percent sign, and then we're going to put an S. And what that basically means is that it's waiting on a string to be given to give uh, to put that value in there. So if we if we submit it like this, nothing really happens. If we try it with single quotes and then enter, you can see the same thing happens. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is we have to tell it what string we want to be put in place of that perc uh, percent sign and s. So to do that, after our quotes, we put a percent sign, and then we tell it what we want to place in place of that percent %s. Just like that. And then we can press Enter, and you can see, hey, my name is Caleb. So this, this percent %s is basically saying, I'm waiting for a value to be given to me. Then we give this percent sign, which tells Python that all right, the next value is going to be the value that we want to place in that percent %s. So I know that's a little complex, but don't don't uh, don't make it too confusing. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Let's try something else. We could actually make a variable. So we can make it name. And we can assign this variable Caleb Curry. Hopefully you got, if it bugs you that I use my name for like every example, just just let me know guys. Like, I, I, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I just don't know what else to use. So we could make that example. We just assigned the value Caleb Curry to the variable with the name name. <laughs> Convenient, right? Now we can try that previous example. So let me just bring that up. So this is what we had before. Now instead of using this string here we can just put the variable name and then we can submit that and we can see that it takes the value given to the variable name so this points back to this which points back to the value Caleb Curry and then this value is submitted in place of the percent %s we can then do it again Let's let's just uh, try something new. We okay. Let's first let's change the value of name. We could say Billy. Now when we go back to this and submit it, it changes the name. Do you guys see what I'm saying? This is just a dynamic reference to a variable, which is uh, defined here and then here. We redefined it as Billy. We could also do this with multiple variables. So if we had uh, last name, we assign that Bob. And by the way, just you don't really need to use these if you're only submitting one line. So I, I know I need to either decide if I'm going to use them or not, but don't worry about it. You can use them if you want. But now, when we go back to this, and we put a different variable, last name, it changes the final value. Another thing we can do is rather than having this string here, we can also assign that to a variable. So let's skip a couple lines just to kind of clear things out. We're going to make a, a message, and we're going to give it the value, hey, my name is, and then we are going to give it percent %s, and then a space, so that way there's a space here and then we are going to keep it like that. So now the message has the value, hey, my name is, and then blank. 
Now we can create the other name. So name equals uh, Helen Keller. I do not think that's spelled right, but who cares? All right, so now name has the value Helen Keller. And then we can kind of print both of these at the same time. We can say message. Then we could say percent sign, which is basically saying this is what we want to replace the percent in this message with. So this is telling Python that whatever comes next is what we want to use to replace that. And then we use name. And name has the value Helen Keller. So then we can submit that. Hey, my name is Helen Keller. Hopefully that's starting to make sense on how that works. We can take this even a step farther and we can use multiple uh, replacements within a message. So for example, we can add a, another one in here. Oops. I guess I should probably obviously retype that. I can't just go back and <laughs> decide to that. So we can put another one in here. And we'll put two. So now we ha are expecting to replace two parts of this string. So now message has this value. And then we can create two new variables, name. Let's go first name, Helen. Last name, Keller. Now, what we can do is we can do the same concept. Print, I'm just gonna close it right now just to make it easier. We can say message then put the parentheses, I mean, sorry, the percent sign, and then for clarity's sake, we make quotes, and then we go first name, last name. So here is what's going to happen. Message is given right here. Hey, my name is blank, blank, and then we're going to insert the values first name, last name. So this one goes first, this one goes second, and then we submit that, Hello, my name is Helen Keller. And just so you know what happens when we don't use these parentheses, I'm going to submit it. Oh, we get an error. So just know that when we want to do that, we will put the values we want to replace in uh, those things. Parentheses, sorry. <laughs> Man, it's so late. All right, well, that is all I have to say in this video. Sorry that I keep always forgetting words like parentheses and like the most easy words. Like I can explain a huge concept and forget the word like print or something stupid. But anyways, thank you for watching. In the next video, we will be talking about some more awesome stuff. So be sure to subscribe.